Olympic hopeful and Tongan teenage kite foiler J.J. Rice dies in diving accident. U.S.-born kite foiler J.J. Rice, who had just missed out on being selected to represent Tonga at the Paris Olympics, has died in a diving accident. He was 18. Jackson James Rice was hoping to become the first Caucasian to represent Tonga at an Olympic Games. His father, Darren Rice, confirmed to the Matangi Tonga newspaper that his son died on Saturday at Falolo, on the island of Heiapai in the Tonga archipelago. Rice was born in the United States to British parents but grew up on Heiapai, where his parents operate a tourist lodge. He finished eighth at the Sail Sydney event in December to move through to the final round of Olympic qualifying in France. However, with only five spots up for grabs at the last chance regatta in Hyas, Rice was unable to secure an Olympic berth. My Olympic dream for this Olympic cycle has come to an end, but that doesn't mean it is the end for me, Rice wrote in a Facebook post late last month. With another cycle just around the corner in 2028, I will be training as hard as possible. Kite foiling will make its Olympic debut in Paris next month. Kite foilers race on boards that are lifted off the water on foils and can reach speeds of more than 50 kp. Earlier in May, Rice told that Pacific Sports show he loved living in Tonga, saying, I feel like I belong there, adding that the island nation had thrown their full support behind him. Everyone's really tight-knit in Tonga, he said. You know everyone, and it's so easy to be part of the community. The amount of messages I get from them all, rooting me on for every event that I go to is really nice. It's an incredible feeling for me, being able to wear the Tonga colors. Repping my home is just such an incredible feeling. Rice's sister, Lily, wrote on Facebook that she was blessed with the most amazing brother in the whole world. He was an amazing kite foiler and he would have made it to the Olympics and come out with a big shiny medal. He made so many amazing friends all over the world. We just got informed of a grant that we could get to start a little sailing school, he said. It would be so nice if we could get the young kids sailing in Tonga and hopefully push them through to the next Olympics.